rock. So she has like a toy in her mouth and we're done playing. They do get to play, you guys. They do get to be normal dogs as well. It's not just like all the time, service dog training. Um, but if you tell them to drop something, they'll drop it when I'm um, raising him. And um, in the next slide, you'll see us on a field trip with a puppy class. You see all the different dogs in here. Uh, lots of people, you see lots of vests. There's like a little puppy and then there's, um, you know, bigger dogs. Um, He's heading for second and somebody throws the ball at second and it hits him in the head and bounces off. He's out. The Holocaust was this period of time during World War II when so many people died. Refugees is what happens when you end up leaving your country for one reason or another, usually when you're forced out and you have to find another place, or when you flee one thing or another. All of these concepts fall under the idea of women and gender studies, but it's not concrete. It is not a specific thing like you study in science, or you study, um, you know, biology uh, or mathematics or chemistry or biology. All the things that you guys are learning here at high school. Okay. So, we've been wanting to do this for a really long time. We've been wanting to go on this adventure journey and it's it's been a challenge and it's been a long road to get here well anytime you travel you're leaving your comfort zone something that you're used to and places that you know and so you're going to um, test yourself you're going to grow yourself you're going to learn about new people new new customs new food just opening up your understanding of the world and how communities interact and how they participate. It broadens your understanding of our world as a whole. It's oftentimes when we're in a really small space for a long time, we live in one community. We're used to those things and it's very comfortable and it's wonderful because we have those things that we're used to, but it's always um, beneficial and helps you understand who you are a little bit more when you're able to go out and see other things and experience something and new experiences. Community economic development, so that's like small businesses, agriculture, getting out there talking about more sustainable practices. I think the most valuable thing that I gained from the Peace Corps was the experience of really understanding our connections as humans as opposed to our differences. I mean, there were so many differences, but at the end of the day, we connected on a human level. And I take that with me into all of my life, you know, into my teaching, into my interactions with people. It just broadened my understanding of people. And for me, one of the things I, I brought back was a profound sense of gratefulness of what we have in this country. Because unless you've traveled outside of this country, it's really hard to know what other cultures are like and what people have, or in many cases do not have. Um, so that would be my advice to our students. If you don't want to join the Peace Corps, that's fine. But get out of the United States and travel a little bit. No violence, and I haven't seen. I mean, I heard it's known, but I've never seen. Uh, it's very different because uh, we choose our classes, and we, we also have um, more like more classes every day. We have like seven or eight in one day, and we we also we we don't change the classes like the teacher that comes to the class. So I had deep relationships with everybody that I you know, kind of talked about. And they all experienced every, every image, every time period, every event, they were involved in it. It's my grandmother and my grandfather on my dad's side. This word on the left, giri, that's a Japanese word, and it means fortitude or stick to it you know when when the going gets tough you know you just got to break through the wall you got to have a community and ways we can build resilience and we're going to finish up with 
positive images, uh, services, telling me about what we do. Um, for starters, I wanted to talk about the acronym LGBTQIA. I know I have it on there, but it, does every, anyone know what the acronym stands for before seeing this slide? <laughs> Was there more violence after the protests? So, in the, so as for the legacy of the civil rights movement, unfortunately, the violence did continue. So as you saw, we talked about the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. Was Ruby elected? So Ruby Hollis is not a real person, but she's based on various uh, different women who were part of the movement during the civil rights movement. Association. Senora, senora, please come. Somebody needs everyone to join for the association to succeed. It sure is a good idea, Mr. Chavez, and I wish you luck. The problem is, it just ain't gonna work. That's what they all say. That world My twin brother, Ben, and I were born in 1950. By the time we're five, we're out in the fields just like all the other kids we do. Hi, my name is James Fan. I'm a senior and I perform at the Lion Dance. The main storyline that follows Lion Dance is around a monk uh, during very uh, old times back in China was being plagued by evil spirits and he prayed to the Buddha and the Buddha in turn sent him two lions that drove away the bad spirits and brought good luck and fortune. We also, uh, before I forget to mention, we also have um, the Lebanese tree here. I guess the most challenging thing about the mural was time. You know, also we're like, we're not all good artists. <laughs> so that was a really big challenge. So we really wanted to show that we could have cultures come together and, you know, we could really represent unity. You know, we're not all separate. We're all the same, you know, we, we're still on Earth, you know. And, um, yeah, it's not the school's mural. It's not the teacher's murals. It's not, you know, it's our mural, you know, the students. It really represents us. My... My favorite presentation was probably the Cesar Chavez one. You know, it really shows how if you step up to be a leader, you can really make anything happen.
Thank you.